All right. I want to say shalom to everyone. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. Um, I just want to put this quick, informative video out. Um, I know some people may balk on this and some people may say that you're, you know, uh, trying to cut corners and things of that nature. Um, I mean, I look at it like this. Um, when it comes down to, you know, certain, uh, you know, like poison ivy, uh, they have certain ointments that you can put on that. Of course, you got, <coughs> excuse me, you got cortisone cream, which someone recommended, which is very helpful. Um, and this actually comes from a, just about, you might as well say a pretty much registered nurse. Um, you know, you have calamine lotion. Um, but some people were forgetting, and I thought I would put this out. Um, you can actually put uh, natural toothpaste on poison ivy or a mosquito bite or if you got a pimple. And the reason why I went to do that, um, I, of course, was exposed to poison ivy um, a few, matter of fact, almost two weeks ago. But I thought I bypassed it because I didn't have any flare-up in, on my skin until a week later. And it kind of threw me off. So I was like, what is this? So I did some research on poison ivy. Of course, I did research and it takes about seven, sometimes seven to 12 days uh, for someone that never had it have a flare-up or uh, a reaction to it on their skin. It's very it's, it's very annoying. It's very itchy. Of course, some people uh, know about it. Um, I actually thought that I was, what you would say, immune to it because I never got it because I used to stay in the woods as a kid and I never had it before. But I guess when you get a little older, you know, certain things happen and maybe I just was never exposed to it and I never really knew how it looked. Um, so I was exposed to it. I uh, had a little fender bender. I didn't really want to get into that information, but it kind of reminded me of what happened on the reason why I got this mess all on my arms and just a part of it on my back. Um, car slid off the road, but I'm fine. Everything's fine. Um, but what happened was a brother had to, he had a diesel truck and he had to <laughs> dig my car out. So, you know, the, the front bumper is jacked up. And I mean, I wasn't even speeding. It was like a car hydroplane. It was, it was raining. I was out exercising and the, so-called people that run this forecast weather, or whatever, said it was going to be a 25% chance of raining, and I just ran into the 25% of where I was. Um, so, but you know, thank the Most High, everything's fine with me. Uh, no one else was hurt. Um, you know, certain things happen in life. I mean, I was able to get a lot of sunlight. I was out there, and what made me want to go into this video in regards to poison ivy. Um, you know, I learned from it. Um, I know exactly what it's about now. I like to research. Some people say, well, you can't always find find out things, uh, you know, online. But you can find a lot of, a lot out. And, uh, you have to know how to take out the bone. Um, so basically, you know, I, as I was out there, you know, I was under the car kind of. And it was all these bushes because it slid off an embankment. So I couldn't get it out. So I had to pull my car out through it. Uh, like I said, the brother had a, a diesel truck and he pulled me out. But. I had to wrap the chain around the axle of the back of the rear of the car. So that actually put me at more danger of a bunch of weeds and plants and things of nature that, you know, that was around the axle that I had to wrap the chain around. And like I said, I thought I was, I bypassed it because I didn't have no reaction. But the, this is the big thing that, that I remember. Um, I knew something was wrong because I felt like a tingling in my skin, the areas where it's broken out, like on my arms and, you know, some parts of here. And because I had one of those half shirts on, you know, if you're going out exercising, you know, playing ball or whatever. And, um, you know, it was a, it was a very, uh, what you would say, different experience. Um, and, you know, the most I send people around to, to help you out. Um, I actually got there, the, the brother's name, there was two people, it was a European guy that helped me out, and there was a, you know, a brother, both of them brothers, you know, I want to make that clear, okay, but, you know, we understand what we say when we say brothers, and I said I was going to mention them on this particular video, if I do, if I make, if I was going to say anything about it, you know, this, I had this on a hush-hush for a while, because of course it's kind of like personal, everybody goes through certain things, um, but I, but mainly what I wanted to do, if you can't get around any cortisone cream or calamine lotion or whatever if you 
And if you have an emergency type thing, because though you know those things can really get you. And um, I never, I don't, I didn't have too much issue like the first night of this stuff. Like the itching, it didn't really keep me up. Um, I've learned how to calibrate, you would say, or uh, emphasize, if that's a better word, how I am at the age of 40. You know, that's not that old, but you, your body takes different steps. Um, when you get a certain age, you can't do what you were doing when you were 30, 20, 19, certain things every 10 years or whatever, your body changed. So I noticed that if you can get you some lavender, uh, I would say like lavender scented plug-in or something like lavender oil, and you may have your little small pot and a heater just to heat it and just let that, uh, go throughout your room for maybe about 30 minutes to an hour and then go to sleep, you'll sleep better. I'm not sure what is in lavender that, that that helps that. I'm not sure. You all that probably know more information could probably give that information out. But I know I didn't say it so, I said so much in within six minutes here. But if you get you some, if you have a breakout of poison ivy, and a lot of people probably don't know this, and, and maybe they don't, I'm a guinea pig, I'll just try anything because I kind of like put two and two together. Um, if it's itching you, if it's itching like hell, okay? That's, there's no other word for it. That mess itch. It's not a game, okay? That's why people tell you if you start scratching poison ivy, it will actually spread other, to other parts of the body because the, I think it's your eucryal oil or that's within the plant. I can't say the name really. Um, it, it, it gets inside of your skin and when you break one of those bumps open, it leaks and it can spread. That's the way it's not like a chicken pox or whatever. It kind of can blister when you, if you're washing, of course you want to keep your, the, the area that's exposed uh, clean. But what I was doing wrong was uh, I was washing with kind of like hot water, like you take a shower or whatever. Um, and usually that's different for me because I don't even use hot water. I use cool water. But I was just so itchy. I was like, ah. Uh, uh, so stuff was just itching me like hell. So it can cause more breakouts and it can get inflamed or whatever. And if it's itching you that bad, if you can't, because I'm, I guess I was being irresponsible. I should have went to the store and got me some cortisone cream just right after someone told me this on an email. They told me, hey, go get some cortisone cream. I said, okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a, I said, okay, thanks. I totally forgot about it, but I'm sitting here itching. So when I got here, I'm like, man, I don't feel like going back out, you know, driving around with a genic car. <laughs> but this is all good. You know, it's funny. And uh, so when I got here, I'm like, man, I'm not going back out. And I remember certain things back years ago when I would get a pimple. And my sister, this is what happened when you live around a bunch of women. So I got like six sisters and all from knowing they were in and out of the house. And I remember, I can't remember which one of them. They would put toothpaste on a pimple. Um, I think my brother did it before. So, I'm like, hold up. If, a, if toothpaste can you can be used, and that was with plaque, I mean, excuse me, uh, with fluoride, and it would, you know, heal the pimple within a day. I mean, that's what how quick it worked. Or if you get it, um, like a mosquito bite, it'll go away within a few hours. I'm, I'm serious. It, it, it'll be gone. So, I said, you know what, let me try something. So I washed it, wiped it off, you know, with a damp rag. This time I was like, well, let me wa wash this, my arms a little different than the rest of my body. Then you got to switch a rag and all that because you don't want it to spread. And so you take these precautionary type uh, deals to, you know, to keep yourself from getting any other spread. So what I did was wiped it down with some, some Toms. I'm not promoting these people without, I want to call them because they got some, this is some good stuff here. anti plaque and whitening. I really don't deal with the the, ant the whitening stuff because sometimes that can deal with your enamel, but it's okay. Uh, but it says fluoride free, free, wow, free, fluoride free, and it's natural. And the reason why I believe that this stuff is working because I put some of this stuff on my arm and it's very concentrated. You don't need that much. You just need a bud full, about just like a bead, and just it it it'll cover. Uh, a bead would probably cover about three or four inches. 
You don't need to like slack it on your arm. It just needs just a small surface pull. It can almost you can just almost rub it all the way in. And let me tell you something. I have no itch at all. None. This is what I can remember when I had chicken pox when I was around 12 years old. My mom would put this calamine lotion on. I think it's some type of pink, if I can remember. It's been a while. Like I said, I was supposed to go to the store and get some. Let me tell you, that stuff, it, it was still itch. Now, chicken pox is a little different. But let me tell you something. I don't think nothing It's more than some <laughs> poison eye. That stuff right there, the most high, let me tell you something. The most high, when he said uh, to Adam and Eve, you should be cursed to dust. From you come from the dust, dirt and dirt thou art return. You won't return to it. And now the earth is coming against man. Yeah, it's not a game. <laughs> it is not a game. It's stuff out there in the woods that will put you in the ground. Okay? You can get stung by, a, you can get bit by a bug and you be wondering why your leg is numb. It's not a game out there. The most high, that's why people don't understand that these scriptures are on point. I'm not trying to go that route because I wanted to really show you that if you don't have any, don't put oil on it. I did that. Nah. Oil was soothed for a few seconds, but it didn't make that oil for some reason. Because I was putting um, olive oil on it, and that's dumb. <laughs> Don't do that, okay? You want your skin as in those parts where it is broken out of those bumps, those poison ivy rash. That's what it is. Make sure your skin is dry. That's what you want. You want your skin to be dry. And that's what the paste does. Calamine lotion, even though it got aloe vera, some of this other stuff has aloe vera in it, which is okay. Or oh, aloe vera is very good for the skin. Uh, it's best to get you a plant and grow an aloe vera plant and break off one of the leaves and put aloe vera on it. That's good. But if you don't want your stuff to scratch, I mean, itch anymore, you know what I'm saying? Because it will keep you up. Your body needs to be at least 80% at peace. I mean, a toothache can keep you up all night. A stomachache can keep you up all night. If you don't have a regular bowel movement, you, you, th you know, your stomach's still groggy. You're not going to sleep well. Your body is, is, is very sensitive when it's, time to go to, when it's time for you to sleep. So, let me show it again. I know some people, people may thumbs down on this. But it's okay. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to promote Tom. But they do good. You know what I'm saying? I, I thought I was going to call these people. I need to call them. Uh, they got a 1-800 number here. Then I may call them and tell them, like, look, you got a good product. Um, and, you know, keep it going. You know, just encourage them. Because, like I said, people are not really appreciating natural things. Now. I mean, they, matter of fact, I take that back. They're, they're, they're uh, getting to the point where they are appreciating, appreciating it more. Because they're starting to do research. Like at first, years ago, about 10 years ago, you buy some uh, some bags, some Ziploc bags of that nature or whatever, something like that. You wouldn't see what you would see today. No BPA. You see what I'm saying? So people are starting to do research on stuff. See, they already know these goons that run everything know that BPA, which is called bisphenol A, causes hormonal um, differences in a man and women. It amplifies estrogen in a man and amplifies testosterone in a woman. I don't know how it attacks the immune system or the enzymes of the body or whatever. Like I'm not no health guru or whatever. I just do more, small little minor research and I just put it out if I think something is informative for people. You see what I'm saying? So get you some Tom paste. I mean, if you got it around, if you got toothpaste, it has to be paste, not gel. Okay, I don't understand. I don't know. It may, but I don't recommend someone putting gel on their on their skin. But paste, toothpaste. It has to be see if you can see that. 
it has to be taped, okay? That's what you put on it. And I think the reason why this stuff is really working, and it's, to be honest, I, I, I really, it's actually healing it. That's the weird thing. I mean, within two days. Come on, man. This stuff is hitting just the first two days, because like I said, I had it already for about four freaking days, and I'm like, man, this stuff ain't going nowhere. Because all I was doing, I was wiping too hard with a rag, and I think I was just making it worse. Because then I was scratching it or whatever, the things that you don't supposed to do. And I would put the oil on there thinking that oil can just you know help everything. I'm, I'm sure it's soothing the skin texture, but who cares about that when you're behind this itching? Paste that joint and it, it'll stay in the same spot. It won't spread all over the place. All right? Now, I think the reason why this stuff is working is because it has peppermint oils in it. Peppermint oil is very good. Um, then it has um, calcium carbonate, which your body needs calcium. And calcium is, uh, then it has zinc. So there's certain things in this, um, and actually sodium is a good thing too for the skin. People don't know that. That's what happens when you sweat too long, sweat too much. You see light coming out sometimes and you haven't, you know, worked out in a while. And if you work out too much or if you ate too much salt, you will see a lot of it come out of your skin. It'll be all on the sides. So you have to put that back in because the nutrients, you need some type of sodium. Some people kind of like balk on that, but you need some, of course, everyone know that. You need some type of sodium. It's good for the immune system. So there you have it. Um, like I said, I did a uh, little research on uh, poison ivy. I never had it before. It's something new to me. Um, I didn't know what was going on with me. I'm like, oh, man, what am I, what happened to me? I'm like, what I got, you know, I'm not trying to be a hypochondriac, but, you know, you start doing research on stuff like, oh, Lord, it was lesions or what? So I did more extensive research. Some other people looked at it. Um, another person that I know uh, that was in the nursing field uh, looked at it as well. And they said, yeah, you know, that's straight poison ivy, you know. And they say it's bad. I looked, you know, it can be, people can have bad breakouts from it, like boils. It looks like they only got boils on their skin, all on their face, you know. So, you know, everything happens for a reason, you know. So maybe I can, I was, I was able to, I had to go through certain things, you know, small, not something bad, you know, um, to actually help others that may just have some, some taste of mine. But I would recommend, like I said, I'm, uh, I hate fluoride. Don't get, I don't recommend putting fluoride on your skin, but if I don't believe it's going to bother you if it's on the surface. I mean, cause I used to do this as a kid when I would get a pimple, you know, being around my siblings and, you know, they would put, and that's all we would use. We would use toothpaste. You see what I'm saying? And it had fluoride in it. So, but, uh, like I said, you have to do things a little different when you get a little older. So, um, there you have it. Um, I tried to make this video long. I was trying to talk a little faster, but it's still about 18 minutes. So I'm about to cut this off here and hopefully you all enjoy this informative, weird toothpaste type video that you can put on your skin.